Okay, so we did go ahead and report that Jesse Smollett was actually attacked in the subway um, event that happened a couple of nights ago. And if that really is true, we really feel bad for him. But unfortunately, police are concerned that Jesse Smollett's lying about beating story. Now, Jesse arrived in Chicago Monday night. He was on his way to get food at about approximately 2 a.m. in Chicago when he was allegedly attacked. According to Jesse Smollett's account, the masked man recognized the actor from his role as openly homosexual singer-songwriter Jamal Lyon on Empire and shouted, aren't you that effing um, Empire N-I-G-G, -G, you know. And Jesse uh, told police that the suspect began beating him and poured bleach on him before trying a rope as a noose around his neck. Uh, Smollett claims that he drove himself to the hospital. Eventually, the actor was discharged in good condition after receiving treatment for minor injuries, including a cracked rib. Now, according to some of the reports that we've actually seen online, um, there was an informant that actually was very close to jo Jesse with intimate knowledge into the investigation that actually released the information that the police are not convinced that Jesse is telling them everything. And the insider told Jesse is holding back on some information. Now, we're not really sure what that information is. and. Actually, they've confirmed that Jesse told uh, Jesse that they have surveillance footage of the Empire actor that in none of the videos is the actor being followed by any alleged attackers. So they don't have video. It doesn't mean it's not true, okay? So um, the insider also added that Jesse wasn't attacked, but it didn't happen like he said it did, and the police don't believe him either. Now, according to a lot of different reports that we've seen online, um, we've actually retrieved this from other news sources that just state that Chicago police denied the claim that Jesse Small uh, denied identified attackers. So this is actually on thereason.com. Um, and then, you know, in this case, there was a lot of different people that are saying that it's just kind of convenient how it happened because if the footage does not portray it, then how could it have possibly happened? So, let me tell you about this, you know, like, if this is not true, this is really going to destroy his credibility. Um, and unfortunately, like, there's a lot of other uh, news outlets, not just us, that, you know, we try to fact check everything before we even say anything. And there's a lot of bad reports going on, like, on TV right now. There's a conspiracy starting that all the news that we've, all the news that we've read online about just about everything, um, it's just making us kind of concerned. Um, and, you know, if according to reports from TMZ, Empire star Jesse Small didn't want to be encumbered by Honor Roger bodyguards uh, when he wasn't working, despite an offer by Fox a week before the brutal attack. So it's just close to the situation. Tell us security for Empire cast was increased last week after Fox Studios in Chicago received that threatening homophobic letter addressed to Smollett. And we're told that Fox made this call to beef up security for everyone on set and wanted to give Jesse additional protection around the clock, but he declined it. So I guess somebody wrote this, um, you know, this hate letter. It, it's To me, it seems like cartoon crap because it's like something someone would do in a Whitney Houston movie or something. Like, if you're gonna, I don't know. It's, it's just strange. Now, um, we broke the story. The actor was brutally attacked by two men in Chicago after he arrived late Monday from New York at about 2 a.m. Run to Subway for food. The two men, um, both white and wearing ski masks, beat Jesse, put a uh, rope around his neck and poured bleach on him as they left the injured actor the men screamed MAGA country. Now, on Empire, um, this is actually Jamal Lyon that actually is a singer and Smollett missed shooting on Tuesday as he recovered from his injuries, but we're told that he plans to return soon and the show will go on as planned. Although the, the shooting schedule will be rescheduled uh, to accommodate to his injuries and what happened to him. And I just think it's really strange. Like, this seems like cartoon, like chicken straps. Like, my 10 year old could do better than this. Um, and even has Al Sharpton says Trump must denounce Jesse Smollett's MAGA attackers. attackers. Um, Steve Harvey stands with Jesse Smollett as black man in America. And there's just other people coming forward, but I don't know. The story seems kind of.